Hi everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm here for part 32 of my Silly Living LP here on The Sims 4. So if you haven't seen, I would say probably the last two parts or so, there's been quite a lot happening and this might explain why this person is laying dead on one of the bedrooms of Vincent's apartment. Now, in the last episode, I think it was, maybe this one before that, he actually went over to Lock Gang Dylan's home and um, he is actually a hitman and he's done some, well, Vincent's done some work with him in the past. If you haven't seen the last couple of, well, I would say from about part seven ish, that kind of explains what happened there. And um, since he went over there, he found that that Dylan was looking for him to be gone, really, <laughs> just to put it simply. And um, Vincent got the job to actually go ahead and do that, and um, for a significant amount of money. And he's went ahead and done it now, and he's done it in his own apartment, which I'm not too sure if that was a good idea or not, because it's kind of. Um, well, I don't know. It's, it's kind of a bad place to do it. Now, this might be evidence in Vincent's apartment. Um, but um, he's kind of done it. And as you can see, he isn't feeling very happy about it because this is something that he really didn't want to do because he he's done this in the past and he kind of regretted it. And now he's kind of back doing it again. And he, um, well, he just doesn't feel good about doing it because really deep down he is a good sim and doing this sort of stuff for money is really, really bad. And um, I don't know how he feels about it, but at the same time, this was actually Penny's boyfriend. So it's kind of gave him the opportunity to kind of get back with him in a way. Um, who, I mean. <laughs> and as you can see, the landlord is just there, which is a little bit scary because <laughs> imagine if he came in here, that would have been a disaster. Um, so the kids are here, which is really bad. He just didn't know how to do it. He had to get it done quickly. Um, but the Grim Reaper is here. It is a bit of a small room to do it in, but he it, it just had to get it done and out of the way. And next, he's going to head over to Lockhart and Dylan's home to go ahead and hand him the body and... Um, try and get there discreetly, not making a big scene or anything, and go ahead and get his money, which was what he came here to do. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, speed through this a little bit to try and get this all done and dusted with, because it's pretty bad. Vincent just doesn't want to think about it anymore, just wants to get this done and out the way, and he's going to head over to Lock and Dylan's home. I don't know how long this is going to take, I don't think, well, it seems to be taking a little bit of a long time, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is pause the recording here, oh, there we go, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the um, remains here, and um, maybe ask the Grim Reaper to leave, because hopefully he doesn't have any evidence of what just happened before the Grim Reaper starts questioning us, um, I don't think we can actually do any interactions with him. So I'm going to go ahead and take the body and put it in our inventory here, if we can go ahead and do that. Um, let's go ahead and put it in our inventory. And then, um, oh, did I just say Daxton is ready to age up? Well, that was pretty quick. I don't know how Matt isn't ready to, ready to age up because I think Matt's a few days earlier. Oh my god, we'll have our bills to pay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this before our landlord has to come over here and question us about why we're not paying it. And um, maybe you'll see Vincent's face and everything that's going on with him. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get Vincent to pay the bills here. It was only 500 simoleons and he's about to go and get some more money here, which should easily pay that back. So I'm going to go ahead over to Dylan's home and I'll meet you once we get there. Okay, so we're here at Lock Gang Dylan's home and we have brought the body to him and as you can see Dylan is very happy because this is what he's wanted and Vincent has done what he asked. So Vincent has received his money and as you can see here Vincent is just looking at the um at this thing, I don't even know what you would call it. Um, he's just looking at it and just thinking about everything that's just happened and the amount of times you've had to do this for him and you know he's just, as you can see here, his household funds are significantly more um in there but which is great in a way but at the same time everything had to do to get that was not um, and I feel like he just wants to get away from Dylan now because of everything that you know he's had to do for him and all the other bodies sorry this what is happening with my camera here I have no idea um, all the other bodies that Vincent has um, done is over here in this room now it's quite a lot when you look at it and Vincent doesn't know that these are here he thought that there was somewhere else with somebody that um, you know Dylan has relations with but um, they're actually in his apartment which is kind of a bit risky um, but I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe put this one with them because um, Vincent doesn't want them to be out in the open um, and yes yeah, so we've got the money and he doesn't even want to talk to Lockham because he's had to make him do this again and they just have like they don't even have a relationship in a way of even a friendship or anything it's kind of just very minimal and um, just getting the work done and that's all they talk about really and um, but he really doesn't want to have to do this again and he just wants to get out of the house and he's gonna go ahead back home um, and just kind of not think about that and um, I don't know what he's gonna do for the rest of the day now since he does have quite a bit of money left and um, you know what I think 
what might be a good idea to do is actually head home a little bit because he is pretty tired and then I might head out, out somewhere and um, maybe the bar or something to celebrate in a way. I mean, not really celebrate, but he's just had such a hard time recently. I think a drink might help him, but at the same time it might not. So I'm going to meet you back at his apartment and see what the next step will be. Okay, so Vincent just came home to um, sleep up a little bit as he's pretty exhausted from everything that just happened and Penny has just arrived. Now, um, he's a little bit confused why he doesn't even know, but Penny has just arrived and um, she's just said that she's checking out the city and she wants to use his place to get ready. Now, um, that's a little bit confusing because of everything that's happened with her and um, from even just in the yesterday's episode, um, not yesterday's episode, I mean, I've recorded this, well, the last three parts I've recorded on the same day, but they'll be going up like over three weeks, I think. Anyway, so let's go ahead and um, get him changed and go outside and uh, see Penny because um, in the last, in the end of the last episode he actually um didn't have a good time with penny because they you know spent some time together um penny was kind of coming on to him but as soon as vincent came on to her it just went totally wrong now i don't know why penny's here maybe because his um her boyfriend isn't there um and i'm a little bit i don't know a little bit confused why she wants to come back to vincent but at the same time she is pretty, he is pretty happy about that because this is what he wanted. Now, maybe Penny doesn't really want to tell Vincent how she thinks Cameron's went away. Maybe he's, you know, told her that she doesn't want to be with him anymore. Uh, that Sorry, that um, he doesn't want to be with her anymore. I don't really know. So we're going to have to wait and see, try and get this information out of Penny and um, get that going. So there isn't really a whole lot left for us to do here. So what I think might be a good idea to do is maybe head out to a bar and maybe, I don't know, just have a couple of drinks together. Now, Penny doesn't know that Vincent has this much money, but I feel like he wants to impress her at the bar a little bit by buying maybe a couple of expensive drinks. Now, Penny will just think that maybe, oh, he's just going all out or something. He doesn't, she doesn't suspect that she has, that he has this money. Oh my God, I can't speak. Sorry about this. That he doesn't have this much money. Oh my God. <laughs> this much money, but me, I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to go ahead, get them to fix up his needs a little bit as they are pretty bad. And I'll meet you back off at the bar. Okay, so we're here at the bar with Penny and I'm going to go ahead and get him to get them a drink drink for each other. Um, I'm thinking we should maybe go for a really expensive one to kind of impress her a little bit. Let's go ahead and get a sea of fire. Um, this is for the two of them. It's not 178 smoothies for one. That would be like kind of crazy. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get him to order the drinks for them and get them to sit here a bit and just talk for a bit. Um, I don't know why they have to get up. Why they keep getting up doing musical chairs? We don't really need this today. <laughs> um, so I'm going to get them to go ahead and talk to each other a little bit and um, just see how they're getting on. Um, I don't know why Penny really wants to come over and talk to um Hang on, I don't want to be in a group conversation um as you can see have you just seen there penny was literally just flirting with vincent and now she doesn't like it anymore what is going on with her she's kind of just keep going back and forth with these emotions i think she's a little bit confused about what she actually wants about what's going i think like everything's moving really fast for her because she doesn't know where cameron's gone he kind of just vanished this morning somewhere and she hasn't seen him all day or heard from him so as you can see penny's a little bit sad about that and she's a little bit uh, worried i guess um but i'm gonna get them to go ahead and just talk to each other a little bit get them to have their drinks and stuff and um yeah so i don't want to be in a group conversation why does it keep going into a group conversation it's really irritating um let's try that one more time uh, just have a deep conversation about life and stuff and um yes as you can see penny has just been staring at vincent and it's vincent's getting really mixed emotions and it's just oh my god it's, i think it's going to take a while for all of this to kind of plan out in a way and kind of get things back on track as you can see their romantic part is really bad they're going to have to get it all the way back down to zero to get away with the negative and then take it back up again in the positive so it's going to take a while for them to get back on track at least to where they used to be so you know i feel like it's going to be why did everything just reset? Why can't they just sit like normal people? <laughs> Why does this always have to happen? It's so annoying. Anyway, let's go ahead and try and sit back together again and finish off their drinks if they can do that and talk a little bit more and I think what might be a good idea to do is go ahead and do some karaoke and um, and maybe see how that goes. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of karaoke because that's something that I keep saying this all the time that Vincent came to Samai Shino to progress his singing career and try and get back on track to um, get on fame and stuff. That's what he, his parents, well his mother used to be, oh my god what is wrong with her outfit? <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and reset this because I really can't be bothered for her to finish and just get them to go ahead and sing a duet together. Uh, let's do a country duet because I feel like that's something that they're both on the same level 
travel with. Um, actually, let's do pop instead because I actually can do that. Um, so yeah, Vincent came to Sama Shunu to progressively sing in Korea, and um, he found Penny doing karaoke one night, and that's kind of how they got talking and progressing. Penny is actually a pretty good singer, and um, that's she kind of he wanted to get with Penny to kind of maybe in a way get her to help him with this career and get him into fame. Now that's kind of a bad mindset and that's probably why their relationship didn't turn out too well but at the same time that was his thinking behind it which is kind of really bad and to have been a good sim, having all these negative thoughts and reasonings behind this, um, it is really hard. Oh my god he's aging up today? It's Vincent's birthday, I had absolutely no idea. Um, it's a pretty bad day to have his birthday where he's literally just murdered somebody this morning. <laughs> so I don't think we'll be having his birthday party today, but it may be by the next episode we'll finish off with that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn up my speakers a little bit so we can go ahead and um, check and see how well we are singing together. So Vincent doesn't sound very good. Let's see what Penny sounds like. So Penny sounds a little bit better, which is great. Um, I wasn't... She's like... She seems to be a good singer, but in reality, she really isn't that well. Um, but I'm going to get them to go ahead and um, just stop singing for a bit. I want them to go ahead and, um, you know, talk for a little bit. I think that Vincent wants to try and go ahead and make another move on her because um, now that they've loosened up a little bit with a drink and a bit of karaoke, I think it might be a good time to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to get them to go and sit down together and see if she'll take a couple of romantic interactions. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but, you know, it's worth a try. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, my God. Really? I didn't want him to come over and sit with us. Let's just ignore that. And as you can see, Penny's getting straight up like, nope, bye. Um, why are they doing this in a group conversation? Like, really? Why is this person sitting with us? Um, why is everybody coming over? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Um, so... This is a little bit awkward because this person right here, Vincent actually had a relationship with um, previously and now they, them two are actually doing a couple of romantic interactions and I don't know why, and as you can see, um, oh my god, Penny actually came out of Vincent there but Vincent ignored it because Anya was here. Now, um, oh my god, let's just um, stop that now. Let's just stop it. No, no just no. <laughs> I want them to go ahead and sit here together by themselves without anybody interrupting them and try and do that again. Now, this is going to be a last chance to do this because I feel like we might be pushing it a bit too far and that's why it's not going too well. Um, but let's go ahead and do this one more time and see if it's going to work out. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm going to even remove this seat to make sure nobody else comes and sits next to us. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, oh my god, please hurry up. Oh my god, why does it take so long in build mode for everything to load in? It's so annoying. Um, so let's go ahead back into live mode, or live mode, however you say it, and um, go ahead and do a couple of interactions with her. Um, now, let's see if this is going to go down well this time, because some... Are you actually kidding me? Really? Why does this have to happen? Oh my god. And as you can see, she isn't taking it. Now, this is so confusing because they're both kind of like... If Vincent does an interaction to her, she doesn't take it. If Penny does an interaction to him, he doesn't take it. So I'm a little bit confused. I feel like everything might be moving too quickly and that's why it isn't working out too well. But I'm going to have to wait and see in the future episodes if this is really a relationship that's meant to be or not. So I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Leave some thoughts down below about what you think is the future for their relationship and what you think the future for Vincent is with, you know, his money and what you're going to be doing with that. And maybe if Penny finds out about this, if she's going to be a little bit more um, kind of open to Vincent and kind of try and get back with him once she finds out she has the money and maybe that's something that Vincent's going to have to tell her because she, he really wants to be with her and maybe that's going to be off the reason even though it's not a good reason for them to get back together so there's a lot of things to think about here and it's a lot to sink in so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here if you enjoyed please make sure you leave a like share and subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you all next time bye